A new mode has been added to Fortnite, and the stakes have never been higher. In this video, I'm going to coach you, the viewer, on how to play the new mode, high stakes, and how to master it. I'm Generation Game, and this is my coaching video on Fortnite, high stakes, the getaway. Number one, how the game works. The easiest thing to know is how the, this mode works. In high states, you work with your team in a squad-based game to retrieve the treasure in the safes and escape the island before the storm comes in. When the start the game starts, you'll see four different safes. The safes will start to drop like a supply drop and land halfway through the time limit for it takes for the vans to arrive. Each one contains at least a drum gun, a, a shotgun. And of course, the treasure itself. The treasure will take up to one of your item slots, so make sure to have a balanced loadout to defend yourself with. I will talk about that later in the video, but let's focus on how this mode works. The vans are your finish line to win the game. You need to have whoever your team has the treasure to board the van to win the game. Since there's multiple treasures, there are many chances for you to win the game. There will be at least three vans from the start, after all three departs, you, um, it will become a sudden death match for the last team whoever has the treasure to board it. Now that I have explained the rules, let's talk strategies, shall we? Number two, the treasure itself. The treasure itself becomes an all-out fight for the MacGuffin. There's three ways to the, I develop for obtaining the treasure. First one is co called faraway combat. When the treasure pops out on the map, you have many chances to drop out onto the four corners of the map. So you can drop to either one, but um, you can uh, drop somewhere really close to the drop zone so you can arm yourself and not to get caught in the crossfire and you can take out all the opponents in, near the drop point. Next one is called last second. Right when all the teams are dead and the team's about to open the safe, you can wait a few seconds uh, as the team opens the safe, take out all the opponents opening it, and then you can take the treasure for yourself. Finally, this one I call Sky Treasure, which is a really good way to get opponents annoyed, is that the vans are the designated location to the treasure you're trying to obtain. The vans will be up high, so you'll have to build a stairway to heaven to get there. So for when players are about to build all the way up there, you can be really savage and just straight up shoot it out from the from the sky, taking out all the players, making them de um, fall to their death and taking the treasure for yourself. And then hitchhike up to the van. Now that I've given those strategies out, I'll, I have some tips for players who are intermediate players. Now, when you're in this mode, rifts are prohibited in this mode, which means you won't be able to teleport instantly to the drop point. However, there are many items that will help you to get to the drop point, such as impulses and shockwaves and bounce pads. So with shock impulses and shockwaves, you're able to bounce off of flattened areas. However, be careful when you're using impulses, because even though you're using these, you'll still take fall damage if you're too high but if you have shock waves or bounce pads you're able to just bounce off and not take damage at all additionally thanks to this update you can now use the new weapon the grappling hook the grappling hook has 20 usable charges and can reach 20 meters as a useful tip if your base is destroyed and you're going to take fall damage just aim it to the ground it will pull you to the ground unscathed And finally, I have for weapons. For weapons in this mode, you'll only encounter ones that are rare, epics, and legendaries. For those of you who don't know how what they look like, rare is blue, going blue, and epic is going purple and legendary. The first one you find ARs and of course scope weapons. You may want to keep scope weapons for when you're you see the enemy with the treasure and when you're not going to be able to reach them that close. Now, for this mode, I recommend having two shots. 
shotgun, a scope, an AR, and heal goes through through the team. As for the person holding the gun, they carry shields, bandages. to defend yourself and with all this knowledge you are now ready to dive into the new mode collect as much XP and victories as you can before this mode ends I hope you guys found this coaching video useful thank you for watching Staying tuned for more Fortnite coaching from me see you guys later